Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. I'm so glad you stayed and you stayed because of a super talent who's mm. on our couch today. Joining us on this beautiful couch is super talented singer and songwriter. Imagine being this talented, Fakhri Isaacs. Look at that face. Gee whiz. <laughs> the world is at his feet now with almost 35 years of experience entertaining audiences across the world. And he still looks this young. The stage has become his playground with an incredible stage presence and soulful voice. He captures his audience so beautifully and so easily. And now he brings us a Luther Vandross tribute show that you have to see. There's the details on screen. 30 December, you have no plans. The only plans you have now is Fakhri. That is your plan. Welcome, yes. my brother. <laughs> so good to see you. We are ready. And it's never too much of him. It's, it's never, never too, too much. much. You're never, never complaining. Much. How are you doing, I man? I really need to get you guys to come and do like, the introduction at one of my events. Like, the, the crowd will go too crazy, man. Yeah, yes. like, we should have a stadium next. I hey. didn't even have to sing. No, no. I, like, once you're done, it's just like people like, ladies and gentlemen, fuck me. And it's like, like <laughs> just stand there yeah. in a good suit like That's this. Me. Yeah. <laughs> and the crowd will go wild, man. Just do this. Got my money's worth. I'm but good. are you good, brother? I'm brilliant, man. How are you? Ah, look, look. Uh, uh, we're always seeing you on the show, always catching up, yeah. always seeing success, always seeing growth. And I'm thinking to myself, reflecting on these few years, decades of you pursuing a career, leaving your full time job, best decision of your life, right? I'm 100%. Thinking, um, best decision ever. Yeah, you know what? Many people took COVID as, including myself. Yeah. Like when it happened, it's like, yeah, guy, like, I lost my business. So, like, you know, savings is gone. Like, everything just goes crazy. But the Almighty has a plan for all of us, mm. you know? And His plan is better than all of our plans. And, uh, you know, being forced into a situation where it's like, it's either I try to rebuild a business that I've lost or I pursue something that I've been passionate about my entire life, which is music. And I did it. And amazingly, um, everybody received it so well. And here we are, two years later, and I, I, yo, I couldn't be happier. Could that's good. You look yeah. happy, man. <laughs> yeah, no, that's... You look that, very happy, which yes, is no, good. That. Luther Vandross' music will do that to you. It will, It will man. make you happy. That's you know powerful what I'm saying? stuff. You know, yes. and, and it's so good that today we get to dance with our Fakhri again. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to ask about Luther Vandross itself and talk to me about how this has become your thing, how this has become so well received from audiences, because people know you as South Africa's Luther Vandross. Uh -huh. At least I do. I okay? know uh, we all do, not just around. you, it's everybody. So that's why I want to ask you about this particular pick of Luther Vandross, beyond the vocal connection. Why is it so impactful to you? So, growing up, you know, I've, I've got a, a let's, let's start like way back. Yeah. Growing up in my household, we played, my parents used to play like Motown, you know, like the Manhattans, the Stylistics, uh, Teddy Pendergrass, uh, Aretha Franklin. This is the type of music I grew up listening to. L George Benson came a little bit later. Okay, yes. yeah. okay, you know, okay. Um, although he was, he, was, he was very prominent back then, but mm. I'm talking about the, the proper hits from mm. the 60s, 50s, 60s. Stylistics. It's like Stylistics, mm. the, oh, the Platters mm. and the OJs. These are the people that, you know, I grew up listening to. So yes. I fell in love with this music. In 1994, uh, Luther Vandross released uh, an album called Songs by Luther Vandross. So my cousins and I had this thing every month. We'd take our pocket money and, and somebody in the, in, yeah. of the cousins would buy um, a cassette. Oh, right? Yes. And around about in the 90s, start, CDs started going out. <laughs> Slowly. And so I slept at my uncle's place, like, which is normal, you know. Yeah, yeah. You sleep at your cousins during the holidays. And my cousin had gone to the town centre uh, the Saturday morning. By the time I woke up, I was still sleeping. He woke me up. He's like, guys, I've got a new CD. You need to listen to this. He puts it in and he plays the first song. And I'm like, just, whoa. Yeah. So he puts on The Impossible Dream. So, oh my word! Yo, that so, is a whoa, me song starting response. from a classical background as a, as as a child in a part of the school choir, so I've been exposed to that part, and then growing up in my household listening to Motown, and for the first time in my life, I hear classical and soul combined. Like, yeah. Combined, I'm like, whoa! You can do that! Like that's crazy! So I start like investigating who is this guy Luther Vandross yeah. you know the release 1981 never too much and then 19, uh, 1987 a year now and all of these amazing songs and I'm like whoa this is insane and I just fell in love with this artist and the, his rendition stories are told through music oh, yeah. Yeah. And, the, and, and, and his way of telling he was a magnificent storyteller through his music and I've learned so much from you know like 
listening to him and watching like videos and things of Luther Vandross. And I think that's probably the saddest thing ever that I've gotten the opportunity to perform with so many um, international uh, acts, including like the, um, even like when we talk about Motown, imagine when I get to sh share a stage with Percy Sledge, you know, yeah. the last time he was in South Africa. That was like a dream come true for me. And, and many other, um, you know, uh, of these like fantastic artists that I've got to share a stage with. Unfortunately, I did not get to share the stage with Luther Vandross. Oh man. So that's why this is so important for me that, that I can do sort of when I'm put the show together, I pictured that the audience should be experiencing what I would have wanted to experience yeah. going to watch a Luther Vandross show. So there's many parts of the show where, you know, I try to sort of embody Luther Vandross, mm. but then there's also certain parts of the show where I sort of bring a little bit of myself to sort of pay tribute, because it is a tribute show, you know, to pay tribute to this magnificent artist who's sort of been part of my life for a very long time and also contributed so much towards my music career. So yeah, that's... <laughs> oh man, that's what a, I think... What a story, what, man. <laughs> what is incredible. Is beautiful, man. And oh. I think it's more like divine intervention that played in this and it's almost like you didn't even have a choice. You just had to let go, be the vessel and be part of something bigger. So I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful that you're sharing your talent with the whole of South Africa. Yes. And that's why fuck is here, Mzanzi. Just as a reminder, he's going to be performing this tribute show. It's taking place in Joburg and they cannot wait. But we're going to give you more details on that and every reason as to why you need to get those tickets if you don't already. Because clearly there's a story behind this, there's meaning behind this, and there's absolute soul. Some that's going to take you to another magical place. So we'll talk more about that in just a bit. But of course, every reason to not go anywhere, and we'll see you in just a bit. It's my feel -good show. Hey, I'm Fakhri Isaacs. This is Jade Engelbrecht, my wonderful band. And we're going to do so amazing.
Honestly, I have endless love <laughs> for these two people. Fakhri, that was incredible. Honestly, you, you are so amazing. You have proven that the best things in life are free, Fakhri. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. what I love about it. In fact, if you want more, There's I suggest that much. you should stay here because here and now, <laughs> there are more songs for, from Fakhri Isaacs and your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Plus, the importance of wearing shades this summer and Ayanda Tabete enjoys a bit of South Coast fun in the summertime. Make sure you stay right there at your Feel Good Breakfast Show.